This is an algebra question, and it's telling us to complete the square. So let's start out by writing what complete the square means. So in my complete the square, uh, I'd like to subtract the extra term on the right instead of adding it on the left, so it may look a little different. So we take half of the coefficient of x, which is b over 2. Uh, we subtract the same b over 2 squared. So what I'm telling you is a lot of people will add that b over 2 squared to the other side in their formula. So this may look a little different than you're used to. Uh, but if you FOIL this out, you should be able to convince yourself very quickly that this is equal. So let's go ahead and apply this to the problem we have. And this does equal zero. Algebraically, uh, if we solve this, we'd be finding the x-intercepts of this right here, because that's when the y value equals zero. All right, our b, our b is negative eight. It's not negative eight x, b is the coefficient of x. So for us, it's negative eight. Half of that is negative four. Now, sometimes your b will be odd, and so b over two will be a fraction, and that's okay. Just careful when you square it, depending on what you're doing. What I am operating on is only the terms with x in it. That minus 48 is just going to hang out. So what I have is x plus x squared plus bx. So this is x plus b over 2 squared minus b over 2 squared. And we're copying down the minus 48. Still equals 0. All right, subbing in b over 2, which is negative 4. We have x minus 4 squared minus negative 4 is in the parentheses. All right, so negative 4 squared is positive 16, but there's still one more negative. Uh-oh, I have some subtraction I got to do. Ooh, 48 minus 16 is 58, negative 64, hopefully. All right, so I have completed the square now. Let's see what this question is exactly asking. So they want us to write it with the constant on the other side. No problem, easy to do. And they want E on the other side. So we're going to add 64 to both sides. All right, so we got 4, negative 4, and 64. Let's see how they want us to write it. Now... They want x plus what? So if you really want, you can write x plus negative 4 squared equals 64. And then that's x plus d squared. I think they use capital E on the right side. So capital D is negative 4. Capital E is positive 64. And we see... Two. Oh, I see what they're asking for. That was annoying. I thought they were asking for just D and E. One, two. So they're asking for the entire equation is equivalent to, and I didn't see that little equal sign there. So, all right, once we have it in that form, then you should be able to see what parts you're looking for. So that's part A. And part B, solve the equation and enter the answers below as listed numbers, separated with a comma when necessary. Okay, solve the equation. So we need some more room. So let's take this latest version before I put the D and the E in there. X minus 4 squared equals 64. I guess I took that version. And how do we solve for x? Do not FOIL. If you FOIL, what are you going to get? You're going to basically be back somewhere right around here. You're going to be hanging out. Uh-oh, not good. 
you're going to be way up there where you started. And the problem is you're going to have an x squared and an x term. So you're going to have two x's, uh, a square and a first power. Right now, we just have a single x. So we want to solve for x. x has two friends, a minus 4 and a positive 2. Which one goes first? The 2 power goes first. We square root both sides. Now, uh, when we square root 64, we had a square and we square rooted it. So you get a plus or a minus as to what side should you put it on. It's up to you. If you have an inequality, you should always put it on the side that was squared. If you have an equality, you can do what everybody does. Put it on the square root side. Square root 64 is 8. There are two solutions in here. We'll sort them at the end. I need to add four to both sides. So there's a plus or a minus. You're probably saying the right thing. Here's the positive, four plus eight. Here's the negative, four minus eight. And four minus eight's negative four. Four plus eight's positive 12. So this question asked, enter them separated by a comma, just the x value separated by a comma. I like to put the small x value first for lots of reasons, besides from just wanting to be organized. Some questions tell you enter the smallest values uh, before the larger ones. So I'm gonna put the negative four before the 12, like that. So when in doubt, I recommend just order them. Hopefully this question will accept them either way.